We get them up for Mike Compagno coming in with this one, and we are doing the power uh, of the uh, of the written word. I think that's what it is. It's from the heel record. We're doing sadist. We got a sadistic force coming up. We're doing Sacred Reich. These are legendary thrashers. My brains are shit today, I'm telling you that. I know the American way. I know Surf and Negra, Nicaragua and all that. Um, but what was the tune? It's off the heel record. And it's called The Power of the Written Word. I was right the first time. But we're doing this for Mike. And to full, full disclosure, I should know a lot more about Sacred Reich than I do. I feel like that's one of those bands. You know those bands that you're like, I feel like they, I should be more well-versed in. This is one of them that I'm not. I know the tunes that I've heard. Uh, but uh, we're doing that song here today for Mike, okay? We're going to learn about this fantastic, amazing band. Where are they from? Arizona, something like that. Classic, old school stuff. Uh, we're going to learn about them, then we're going to listen to that song, The Power of the Written Word, okay? Uh, let's do that now. Sacred Reich, they got 76,900. They're right on the way to 77,000, which is seems low to me to be honest. Um, top five Jamaronis that they got here, The American Way, that's the top one, 5.4 million plays. You got Surf Nicar Nicaragua, 2.7 million plays. Death Squad, 2 million plays. Who's to Blame, that's a tune, right? 886,000 plays. Independent, yes. I remember hearing this, in the Independent, and I was like, God damn, this is years and years later, you know, years later. And I was like, these guys fucking kick ass. And I look it up and I was like, oh shit, that's Sacred Reich. Independent, yes. Um, now we're going to look into the albums that this band has put out. They're still going, I do believe. Uh, they took a huge break there, but I believe that they're back in action. Uh, Ignorance is in 1987, then the, uh, the American Way, 1990. Independent, 1993. Then this record here, uh, Heal, 1996. Still ignorant. Yeah, this is where it starts to get. 1996, then in 97, they do Still Ignorant from 1987 to 1997 live. And then 2007, Ignorance and Surf Nicaragua. And then you got a live at Vakan. And then in 2019, they come back with a brand new record called Awakening. And so they're probably pretty close to doing something else unless you know something that I don't and they're, they've decided, fuck it. Uh, let's look into the related artists. This will be a cavalcade of all sorts of fantastic thrash metal and delights from the from the greatest of times. Violence, Forbidden, Nuclear Assault, which was one of my personal faves. Uh, Flotsam and Jetsam, amazing. Dark Angel, Coroner. Uh, we've been getting into them on this channel, and I love that shit. That's like that's like thrash, progressive thrashy rush. Artillery, Evil Dead, Exumer, whom we just did, Onslaught, Heathen, Toxic. Every single one of those bands I just named off we've done on this channel. I'm pretty damn sure of that. Uh, let's get into the bio ever so quickly, and then we'll get into the song. You got the dudes, and they're standing in the midnight hour. It's a cloudy. They buried a body. Yes, they've just finished. Guy with the glasses on, he's just cleaned them off, but he, he made sure that there wasn't a, a detail left behind. It's nothing but a... A, a vast desert wasteland. They say, Shane, there's nothing to see here. We haven't buried a dead body nowhere, nothing. Now, you want to leave or you're going to get the same as the guy that we just buried. An American thrash metal outfit with pe a penchant for pairing political lyrics, personal politics, and satirical sense of humor with an uncompromising sonic attack. Sacred Reich helped lead the second wave of the of thrash metal movement in the late 1980s alongside contemporaries like Testament, Death Angel, Destruction, and Dark Angel. Based out of Phoenix, Arizona, the band unle uh, unleashed an onslaught of socially and politically conscious speed metal via crushing albums like Ignorance 1987, The American Way 1990, Independent 1993, and Heal 1996 before calling it quits in 2000. In early 2018, the band announced that the, they had, had inked a deal with Metal Blade, resulting in the release of the long-awaited fifth full-length effort, Awakening, in 2019. I was going to stop reading that bio, but then I saw that it, where it was going. I was kind of reading ahead. 
Well, we come down here to the records, we find the heel record, and we go to the tune, which I have not heard before. I don't know I know anything off this record. The Power of the Written Word. This is the titty titty bang bang, give you a taste, take a taste, we listen now. the last track on the album. There's your pit. There's your circle pit. Oh! I He's got a distinct voice too. That's a thunder popper. It's crazy. You know that voice from anywhere. Oh, there it is. Scratches an inch, doesn't it? Oh. Yep. Snare sounds good. Like that beat. Does he play bass? Stop it out a dime, you get a 10 every time. I don't make the rules around here. I do make the rules. Oh shit. Because that was the last song on the end of the album. Start the fire, Metal Church fired up. God, I love that. Ah, that makes you go, I gotta go back and listen to that too. Shh, I gotta go listen to that. Uh, fantastic. His voice, it's just, it's one of those that you instantly recognize. As soon as he kicks in, I go, ah, that's the dude. That's the dude. Uh, this is the most important part of the videos. It's where you get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think of Sacred Reich. And I apologize for saying the thing, but you're going to see, if you, if you watch the first listens every single Sunday, either you've already seen it or it is coming up, but we're doing a band called Sadistic Force. And I, I goof that name, quite frankly. That's what I'm just coming clean with you, and I'm telling you that. But this is where you get in the comments below and tell me everything you know and love about Sacred Reich. Are you living in Arizona? they got to be playing the bars and doing the thing all over the place. And there's going to be a lot of people say, Shane, yeah, I've seen them live. I've had a stogie and a beer with these guys. So get down there and tell me that. Good, great, fantastic. Yes, Shane, I'm a huge fan of sadist uh, <sighs> Sacred Reich. I love them so deeply, and I'm going to tell you all their names, and I'm going to tell you everything that they've done throughout their careers. So I'll tell you what schools they went to. Um, All-time favorite album. You say, Shane, this is the one that's going in the coffin with me. This is hands down. This is the best record that Sacred Reich has. Um, have you seen them live? How many times have you seen them live? I don't believe that I ever got a chance to see them live. I'd have to go through my memory banks. Uh, but uh, how many times have you seen them live and what was that like? So get down there and tell me that. Or you'd say, not good, not great. It was okay, Shane. It wasn't my cup of tea, but, I, but I'll tell you right now, I've really been in a bad attitude when it comes to your, your first listens here. And now I'm going to just say it was okay. I'm not going to be a, 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 a naughty Nancy. I'm not going to be a dirty Debbie. I'm not going to be a, a, 
you know, a, what's a good boy name? A, a real bastard Bobby. You know, I'm not going to be one of those things. I'm going to just say, don't want it, don't need it. And I don't know that I'll ever listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you got a request, want to see it on the channel, hit those links or put it in the comments. All right, we are swinging wide and birthing it out. Oh, oh, oh sacred right.